Hello everybody, my name is Ryan or MNR Productions and welcome to LEGO Star Wars Meme Sets 2. Of course, last year I created LEGO Meme Sets 1 and that video has over a million views and thousands of likes. So if you guys do enjoy the video, of course leave a like on it. A lot of these creations are created by different creators this time around, so go ahead and check the links in the description below. It'll take you to the creators of these meme sets. Anyway, I had a lot of fun with this video last year and I'm really excited this year because we have a lot of new memes out of The Last Jedi as well as some regular memes that we're going to take a look at as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Our first meme set is Anakin killing the younglings and it's followed up by the shut up and take my money meme. I absolutely love this one. I wish this was a real set. I honestly wish there was a Jedi temple set with the younglings and Anakin Skywalker. Like you didn't have to make it just like this. It doesn't have to be this gruesome or obvious, but a Jedi temple set with some Final First clone troopers and Anakin Skywalker and maybe a couple of younglings would be pretty interesting. Here we have the classic Lego Star Wars blaster. It's the old, old style that was phased out in 2007 but of course it's the USA Today possible modifications of an AR-15. I thought this one was pretty funny and a great inclusion. Of course we all know the iPhone 10 is a rather expensive iPhone, myself included. I was very close to buying one and then I was like, nah, hold on to my iPhone 7. Well, if you don't want to buy the iPhone 10 but you still have a thousand dollars to spare, you can get 100 212 troopers for only 995.50, so you're saving about five dollars there. Now into our actual meme sets, we have some really good stuff out of The Last Jedi. To get us started, we have Kylo Ren Ren and Rey team up. Of course, we have shirtless Kylo Ren there on the right in the big fig form, so he is absolutely jacked, ripped, whatever you want to say. I love it. And then we have Rey sitting on Octu Island. The creator of this put a lot of time into the box art. It actually looks pretty legit. Like, they even did the side of the box art with the little fades, so they did a darn good job with this one. Our next meme set is the Mirror Cave, which includes about 20 Rey minifigures from The Last Jedi, and this one is just about as good as the last one on the box art, except it doesn't have that fade on the side of the box. You can see a bunch of the rays on the box in that kind of mirror cave area of the movie and it is amazing 156 pieces I, I assume this one is going to be very costly assuming that the uh, lego city park people sets cost 40 bucks and those don't even have this many minifigures so i would think this one's going to cost like 70 dollars our next meme set is Chewie and the Porgs, and this is one of my favorites here on the entire video. It has 74 pieces. You get a little fire pit made with some logs, which looks actually really awesome. You, of course, get some chicken pieces, which are actually supposed to be Porgs because Chewbacca cooks Porgs and eats them in The Last Jedi. Well, he doesn't, it's not shown that he eats them, but it's assumed he has previously eaten them because he, like, seems to know what he's doing. And then you get three Porgs in the set, which would make it the most Porgs ever in a Lego set, which would be awesome. So I, I hope Lego actually does make this. That would be great. I really like the fire pit on this set. It's a very well done fire pit. I don't know if it's actually from another Lego set or not, or if it's a custom fire pit, but I really like the way it looks like there's actually logs like leading into the fire. It just works really well. Our next meme set is definitely another one of my favorites, and it's Luke Needs Some Milk. That is quite a name. It has 24 pieces. It includes a giant bottle of milk. Well, not a giant. It actually fits right in Luke's hand. And then, of course, the newer Luke Skywalker from Octu Island. And it includes Watto. So you get Watto with some little nipples down there on his belly. Uh, he's basically a fill-in for the giant monster. I guess this would be a preliminary image right because they wouldn't actually include Watto in the set they would make a custom mold for the giant monster that Luke gets his milk out of but this is a pretty funny set I love the use of Watto here I think that's hilarious Watto fits really well with his nose I think that's why people ended up using him for this set so it works very well I think this would be a very funny set for Lego to create obviously not something Lego would do but it's awesome. Our next meme set is simply called Space Horse. It includes three pieces. It's a very simple set. You get three basically micro figures in this set. You get the Space Horse, which is the giant horse that they ride around on on Canto Bite. And then you also get Finn and Rose in micro figure form, which is very interesting because LEGO doesn't really make LEGO Star Wars micro figures. The only time they ever really did it was with the board game back in about 2010. And those weren't even the newer traditional micro figures. Those were the odd board game figures. So those don't even really count, but that would be interesting. We're jumping in here with a Twitter meme and it says name me a bigger downgrade. I'll wait It then shows the 2007 MTT juxtaposed with the 2014 MTT and that is a pretty stark difference I really love the 2007 MTT It's one of my top 10 Lego Star Wars sets ever and the 2014 MTT was a giant disappointment given what the 2007 version was so it is a giant downgrade Honestly, if you guys can think of a bigger downgrade in the Lego Star Wars realm of Lego sets Let me know in the comment section down below I can't really think of anything bigger than going from the 2007 MTT MTT than the 2014 MTT. So if you guys can think of a bigger Lego Star Wars downgrade going between years of sets, let me know. Our next meme set is a possible May the 4th polybag 
for the future, and it's Darth Darth Binks. Unfortunately, the whole theory of Jar Jar Binks being a Sith Lord didn't come true, but the memory still lives with this meme set, and I would love to see it as a May the 4th polybag. It would be way better than the BB-8 and R2-D2 that they have provided us over the last couple of years. So, back to minifigs, I say. Here we have a similar set to what we looked at earlier. This one is just called Porg Barbecue, and it's very similar. It's got the same type of fire pit there. It's on a big green base plate with some weird-looking trees there. Of course, Chewbacca with the same type of chicken or cooked porg I suppose and then a few porgs included as well although this one has one of the Millennium Falcon porgs which has like the black pieces as opposed to just all porgs from the Octo Island set. So this set might be a little bit better than the previous meme set of porgs we looked at to get a diverse porg population. Our next meme set takes us back to the original trilogy and it's the Mighty Sarlacc Stomach. Of course we've had many Sarlacc pits from Lego but we've never gotten anything underneath the surface and here we finally have it. This one's by Wookie Nuts or Star Wars Photoshop on Instagram and it looks incredible you can see the UCS logos all over it I love that you can see some of the accessories included on top and of course you can see them all in the box some snakes some pink bricks in there some skeletons some Jawas looks like we got a Gamorrean guard and of course Boba Fett's helmet there dead in the center so Tusken Raider it looks like a fun meme set obviously not something like it would ever create because every character in here is dead so unless you count Boba Fett as not dead he might have lived who knows but it's an interesting set our next set is something that I actually wish Lego would create for part of a Lego set. I obviously don't think they would release it as just a helmet, but I think it would be interesting for Lego to include in a set from The Last Jedi because Kylo Ren's broken helmet was just like so cool looking to me. I really like it and I wish Lego could create something like molded like it. I know it's probably really hard, but I think it would be awesome for LEGO to create a broken helmet from Kylo Ren for the A Last Jedi set. It probably won't happen, but I love this one by Star Wars Photoshop, and I wish it would happen. Not going to happen, though. Our next set is the Ultimate Collector Series Death Star Destroyed by Star Wars Photoshop once again. It's using the Star Wars Millennium Falcon box art, and they've just basically changed and added in a giant pile of LEGO bricks. And it looks awesome. He went through a lot of trouble to add even the detail on the top of the box with the silhouetted bricks. So Star Wars Photoshop has really outdone himself here. You can see on the bottom left, he even includes the list of different bricks included. It looks like you get a 1x1 one one brick, a 2x4 plate, a 2x2 two two brick, a 2x4 brick, and a 1x3 brick, as well as the dimensions just above that. You can see the dimensions of the pile of bricks that are included in the set. So very cool little details in this UCS mock-up. I love it. He also includes instructions. You pour out bag 1, and you pour out bag 2, and bag 3, and bag 4, and the pile gets bigger, and then you're done. So very, very interesting instructions. Our next meme set, I believe this is from the SNL skit. It's Matt the Radar technician and if you haven't seen that SNL skit on this it's really really good but uh, Matt the radar technician would be another great May the 4th promo basically the guy who plays Kylo Ren Adam Driver dressed up as a radar technician for the first order and went like undercover kind of like undercover boss and like talked with stormtroopers and other employees of the first order but they knew who he was anyway and it was pretty funny it was good it was good so this would be a cool Lego poly bag and just kind of the respect that it's paying homage to a funny skit that SNL did our final meme set absolutely takes it to the next level Level. This was made by Reddit user Kung Food, and he said, I've seen memes of this, but never a real set, so I made one. Benefits of working in a print shop, Lego Alderaan playset. This is incredible. He made a complete custom box for a Lego Alderaan playset. Like, this thing almost looks legit, and he totally could have made it look legit with a little bit more uh, accuracy in his work, but obviously he went for a little bit of a non-legit look, and it's great. I love it. It's awesome. I mean, it has so many little details on the box. Of course, I love the little notes that the Death Star is not included, Emperor Palpatine not included. Of course, you can see all of the brown bricks on the box there. This is, of course, using the 2009 Anniversary Edition box art for LEGO Star Wars, the 10-year anniversary. So that's awesome. It includes 1,000 pieces, ages 8 and up. So you can see he's just put a ton of detail into this thing. Even on the left side of the box, it's got the famous quote from Grand Moff Tarkin saying, You may fire when ready. And then below that says, Grand Moff Tarkin, not included. So there you go. On the inside, he even packaged some of his own bricks in there to make it even look more legit. And he's even made a little instruction booklet with another little quote on it. it says as if millions of voices suddenly cried out in terror and were suddenly silenced and it's even got a little warning at the bottom choking hazard not for small children under three i mean he's really pulled out all the stops for us and it looks amazing i think this is incredible inside the instruction it says cut open all bags and then pour all bags into a single pile and then you're done you can see 
see some of the in progress work here with the box flattened before he had folded it up now I do have a disclaimer I believe that if you go to a print shop and try to have them make one of these for you they will not do it because this does have like copyrighted material on it and most won't do that without the express written consent of the copyright holder but it's still amazing that this guy was able to just create it on his own and get it out there as his own creation I would love to have one I think it's incredible I wish I had one it's just like the ultimate memory like it doesn't get better than this he really took it to the next level so thank you very much to kung food for bringing some joy to our lives so as the final part of this video I'm gonna count down my five favorite meme sets out of the entire video you guys can let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite meme set is and don't forget to tell me what the biggest downgrade was but at number five my favorite meme in this video is the name me a bigger downgrade meme I think that's incredible I thought that was really funny like it's pretty obvious that the 2007 MPT was so good that they couldn't do better but man in my opinion they really dropped the ball my fourth favorite meme set is Chewie and the Porgs and at number three I've chosen the Lego Star Wars Death Star Destroyed simply for the fact that it has so many little details in it and I absolutely love it for that I love all the little details that he included on the box and it doesn't get any better than that my second favorite meme set is Matt the Radar Technician I just love that skit that I believe SNL did I thought it was hilarious and I thought that it would be very cool of Lego to actually make a figure from it if they were allowed by Disney I just thought that would be really cool and lastly my favorite meme set I mean how could it not be he put so much effort into it the Alderaan playset the physical Alderaan playset it does not get any better than that again guys if you have your favorite meme set leave in the comment section down below also name your biggest downgrade if you guys enjoyed the video hit that like button if you're new to the channel of course subscribe I make tons of Lego and Lego Star Wars videos so if you like that kind of stuff make sure you subscribe and stick around check out the other videos on my channel and if you did miss Lego meme sets one somehow of course check it out I'll link it down below and it'll be on the end screen here at the end of this video so with that being said guys thank you all for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one peace out Thank you.